Hey crew, welcome back. This is Happy Days, and here we are continuing with our Ranger playthrough. So, uh, <laughs> after my slight omission of forgetting to get a hard mo, uh, getting the molten pick, I can now finally mine the cobalt. And before I just started blindly mining it, I looked at the wiki to see how much of each I, ne I need. So, you need three cobalt ore to make a bar, and using my trick, I've got the cobalt in the hot bar so I can see it accumulating as I go. It's good when you're doing something like uh, slowly farming for something. It keeps you motivated to see where you're up to. Um, so yeah, so basically the drill, I wrote the numbers down, the drill needs 15 cobalt bars and the reason I'm feeling like getting that first is it will probably speed up this process and mine things quicker. So currently I've got about, what's that, 20, 24 bars worth. So I can get the drill. The hallowed repeater, I mean hallowed, the cobalt repeater only needs 10 bars. So it's actually quite cheap, which is awesome. I might pop a Spelunka potion here. As you can see, it really speeds this process up. Uh, I should have checked what color cobalt looks. That's platinum, I'm pretty sure which ironically is used in Spelunker potions. So if I can give you a tip, uh, when you mine platinum in hard mode or gold for that matter, don't change it into bars, keep it as ore. Uh, the same with uh, lead, keep some as actual ore because lead or iron's used in iron skin potions, which we're gonna need as a ranger. And uh, Platinum or gold is used in Spelunker potions. Also, I'm going to make like a little garden biome in the sky. I really want to work with trying to grow those plants a bit quicker. Uh, day blooms are something you need a lot of. They're used in quite a few potions. And uh, I'd rather just have them growing constantly somewhere. Um, so yeah. So that 29 platinum ore is going to make, you know, 29 potions, which is fantastic. Okay, so there's no more cobalt around here. So I'll just get this uh, chest, because I'm always on the lookout for new accessories. We still haven't got... What do we really need? Could probably look at upgrading that shackle. Actually, I can make the obsidian shield. Whoops, I haven't done that and free up an inventory space. Another flare gun, how great. Okay, uh, you can sell flare for a gold, so... I've already got one back at base, and anything else? I've already got the hook, and I can probably live without the mud blocks. All right, there's some more lead up there, I'll go get it later. We're on the hunt for cobalt at the moment. Oh, derpling, gee, they're so strong, and so quick. Okay, so we'll have a look down here. I'll just take my... Is there any cobalt? There's some. So you can see cobalt's got like that bluish green tinge. Yeah, that's it. Now, I'll just do the air pocket trick to farm in here. So notice, just leaving that one crimstone block gives me an air pocket. Oh. Floaty grosses. Oh, go away. <laughs> These are. This is going to make a great place to farm Soul of Night later. There's just so many of them. Wow, I actually used a melee weapon then. Sorry. I didn't mean to. And I think it's important. I've watched other playthroughs and you know I've seen people that claim to be doing like a summoner playthrough or a you know a melee only but they edit out so much of the boss fight I'm like you know I think even though it's long and boring like you're kind of proving that you can do it you know I think if you edit out half the boss fight how do we know you've actually fought the boss just just a thought Oh my gosh! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Ah! <laughs> there was, I tried to throw up a quick wall, but I couldn't do it quick enough. 
Oh gosh. Anyway, 104, that's going to make 31 bars. Just a disclaimer, I probably will be dying a lot at first. Um, and remember, you know, I don't agree with the hardcore playthroughs because you would just play it ultra boring and ultra safe and never die, so kind of defeats the purpose. So, first thing, let's get the cobalt drill and speed things up. Beautiful. Alright, so we've upgraded the pick. I just need to clear some room quickly here. Alright, sell the flare, sell that, don't need that. Keep the lead ore, don't need that. Ooh, probably don't need the pone hammer, and I will be fighting the wall of flesh again. Okay, keep the platinum. Wow, that's worth a lot. Okay, the ecore I'll keep. I don't need the demon scythe because I'm not a caster. Alright, that's made some room. Okay, next thing on the list, let's make the repeater. So it's got 40 range damage. But I know the Molten Fury looks different, but the Molten Fury's got the benefit of all my um, uh, accessories, so this should be stronger. Oh! <laughs> Godly, straight off the bat. It's our lucky day. Alright, let's try out our new toy. Oh yeah, that's good. Auto casting. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <sighs> the only difference is we don't get the fire buff now, but I'm sure I'm sure we can live with that. Okay, so I think just in case I'll keep the godly molten fury. Just in case. Wherever I put it. You never know. Uh, there might be an enemy that is better to kill with fire. Alright, and I've still got some bars left. Nine. Can I make any of the armor pieces? No. Okay. So. Let's see. What don't I need? Uh, I really need to do some inventory management off screen. <laughs> okay. I'll put the cobalt. No, I'll keep it on me for now. Alright. Inventory management. Oh gosh. So fun, so fun. Okay. Alright, so to make the full armor set of cobalt with the mask, remember I'm just doing ranger and nothing else. I know the warrior set gives better defense, but that's the point of playing a ranger. You're supposed to be weaker. You know, not just running around in full tank armor. Okay. So, let's go down our elevator and see if there's any cobalt. I also got rid of all the supports in here because it was slowing me down. Ah, cobalt. <laughs> Gee, I'm being a bit lucky today, aren't I? Alright, let's get some platforms happening. Ah, that nice cobalt drilling. So quick. So nice and quick. So what did I say I need? I need 45 bars. I've got 9, so that's 36 bars. 36 times 3, 90, 118 ore I need to make my cobalt armor suit. Yes, quick math, I know. I don't know, some people just have math brains. Okay. Alright, so I've got a fair bit here. I'll just check this chest. Check the chest. Check the check, check the chest. I can't reach it still. Oh, hello. Okay, anything good? Oh, I'll just take it all anyway. Sort it out later. Okay, still a bit low on the damage side here, but we'll work with that. Uh, any cobalt? Nope. Stop. Actually, I should be using the grappling hook. Gee, there's plenty of lead. Oh well. Need it. Uh, you might notice occasionally I accidentally melee worms while I'm farming. It's not intentional. And I'll swap to the repeater as much as I remember. Okay. 
so I definitely think something we need to do as soon as possible is get... I'm just wondering, you know, do I even need to farm all the cobalt? Like, seriously. Like, do I need to? I don't know. See, there's uh, a ritual come there. I mean, we could just skip tears. Yes. Stuff it. Let's just skip tears. What's the difference? I did it in my last playthrough, like... So you can make a ranger set with any... ore. Okay. So I'm pretty sure it's three original come for a bar. So we're only going to need about 45 for the next drill. And then adamantite... No, it's titanium in this. Spawns mostly at the lower levels. One last little bit. Nice. Okay. Let's just have a quick look on this side. No. Alright, let's drop some more. Ah, uh, there's some more platinum, but I won't mind that now. Oh, that's so much better. Ooh, they're strong, those things. Okay, let's just cruise to the side. Ah, uh, yep, there's some more original come. There's good knockback on this, uh... Ooh, strong. Good knockback on the repeater, too. Which is very handy. Okay, this is going quite well. So really, I think before we even continue with bosses and farming and whatnot, the goal is going to be to uh, <clears throat> get the highest armor and weapons we possibly can. There's some more ritual come there. If I'm saying this wrong, just leave a comment. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a ritual come. A ritual come? A oh, rich alchem. A ritual come. Yeah. Alrighty. The thing I like about Crimson is that it spawns these Ichor stickers, which gives you Ichor, which gives you those armor lowering bullets. And, well, arrows more in our case. So that's pretty cool. Oh, these spores. Fungi spores hit like a tank. Okay, so scratch that plan. We're not going with full cobalt. We're just going to go for the highest ores we possibly can get. Oh yeah, this will work. Uh, to note, with things like autocast weapons, you can shoot ever so slightly faster if you manual cast. Ever so slightly. But not to the point where I'd say it's worth it. Alright, co no, we're not really after cobalt anymore. We're after ritual come. Hello? No? Plenty of lead around. I'm not gonna have to worry about uh, iron skin potions, which is nice. Because we're gonna need quite a few of them. Holy moly! What are you doing? Ah, oh, damn equal sticker. Is that. What's this? Oh, it's titanium. No way, it's spawned right here. That's wicked. Okay, there's a good deposit of it. Uh, okay, let's have a quick look around. Cool. I like the color of titanium. It's a, it's a cool color. Oh, my Spelunker potion's worn off. Ip thief. Oh, there's some more cobalt. Should I bother? Yeah, let's grab it. It sells for a good amount. And we're going to need lots of gold because it's absolutely critical that we can afford to always upgrade our accessories to the highest modifiers. We're going to need that extra defense and damage as much as possible. So obviously if I bump into Cobalt, I might as well upgrade the armor, but I won't go out of my way to do it. Okay. Ah, oh, there's more cobalt there. Ah, at, look at that original come deposit. Excellent. Ah. Ooh, sell a knife. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> What's that off? That's a family guy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Is that a family guy? I think so. I don't know. If it's not, tell me what it's off. Ah, oh my gosh, go away. 
Okay, we're doing pretty good with the Urchil come here. And there's that massive chunk of titanium just sitting in the uh, in our elevator, which will be fantastic. Also, another thing I'll be looking to get as soon as possible are wings, uh, just so we don't take fall damage anymore. So with wings, you you can drop like from one the top of the map to the bottom, and you won't die. Um, I've got the rocket boots, which means I just have to trigger them at the last second to negate fall damage. So, you shouldn't die, but there's a chance. Alright. Do I need more cobalt? I've got nine. What did I say I need? About a hundred and... No, yeah, might as well grab it. So, when you get to hard mode, I really recommend just getting the ore farming out of the way. You know, you're really going to make things easier on yourself. Oh, this damn... You can see those spores hit for an absolute shit ton of damage. Excuse my language. I'm not a big swearer. Oh, go away! Alright, I'm just going to have to get this as quick as possible. Do you mind, guys? It's going to be so much quicker if I just use the drill to kill these spores. Because all I have to do is quickly move my mouse. I, I would not class this as cheating. It's not like they're an enemy, it's more an environmental hazard. Oh, and I'm drowning now. This is just great. Just great. Just lovely. And I'm likely going to die here. Okay, that's much easier. Okay. If you want to make it official, this is the first time I've intentionally used the melee weapon. Alright. Oh, there's a ritual come there too. Um, oh, oh, go away, bat, go away, go away. Ah, oh, there's another one that's damn, damn. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, it's an eco sticker. Oh, this. Damn fungi things. <laughs> oh, this is so hard. <laughs> oh, I shot it with the arrow, nice. These are a really tough enemy, these. Just because of those spawns. Look at it, it looks so blue and cute, that creeper thing, but it's devious and evil. Alright, so got quite a few. Ritual Kumba ores here, which means we're really going to be able to definitely upgrade our drill. That's a critical thing, as quick as possible. Why? Because you drill faster. Makes life easier. And as you can see, when you're under attack like that, quick is good. And it gets more range too, I, I believe. Okay. A quick, uh, any more down here? Hello? No. I think there was a ritual come on the other side. Okay. Ah! The damage is so high. Help me! <laughs> oh, this is insane. Go away! Go away! <laughs> okay, we did it. Oh, my Spelunker wore off. And I can't quite remember where that other original Kim deposit was, so sod it. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Hang on, how much is it taking? Four! Done. I thought I had more. Water ball. Alright, don't need that, 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 that. Oh, that's right, you need to make your original from Anvil first. Oh, the cost of doing business. Alright. So, let's upgrade our Anvil. So, with 17 original from bars, I can make the... Ooh, new repeater. That's tempting. But I think the drill is the better... Better thing to make first. What? Can I not afford it? Oh, <gasps> no. 
I don't have enough. Oh, bubblegum block? Oh, that's cool. I don't know why you would waste a ritual come on it, but cool. Okay, so let's make our cobalt gear. Mask. I'm pretty sure the defense on this is not much better than what I've got. Uh, let's, let's get rid of the ash blocks. Okay. So, I've currently got... 5... 11... 16... With 5% range damage. Let's see what difference this makes. Okay. So you get... Temp so you actually... You get the 20% chance not to consume ammo. And defense wise... Oh, defense has gone up, so it was worth it. Oh, and you actually get the r increased range damage. Okay. Yep, that's worked. Yep, yep. The big thing is the critical strike chance. That's awesome. Alright. I'm just wondering if the blue actually looks okay on the arch character. Yeah, I think we might swap to our blue appearance for a bit. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Alright. I might end the video here. Uh, so off camera what I'll be doing is... Yes, that looks cool. How about with the... Oh, she looks like a ninja now. No, we'll keep the wig on. Alright, off camera what I'll be doing is farming enough uh, a ritual come to get the uh, drill and possibly the repeater because damage is good and yeah that's pretty much where we're at um, I can quickly upgrade the uh, cobalt shield to the obsidian shield which frees up an accessory slot which means we can put more stuff on that's got movement speed but not really worth it all right so I'll do a bit of tweaking off camera. I might finally get my inventory sorted out. Actually, this box right near the forge would be our good uh, ore chest, I reckon. Sounds good. All right, guys. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Especially if you've been going along this journey with us. You may as well officially join our crew. And uh, leave a comment. If you've got any advice for when I'm flailing about like a little crybaby, uh, I'd really appreciate it. All right. Stay happy. Until next time, this is Hoppy Doos signing out.